Okay, so I know a lot of you remember that I've covered the ADF facility before, and I wanted to show you something specifically with AMC because for the longest time, I you know I, I even went as far as to email the SEC lawyer to try and figure out what was going on with the ADF facility, which is basically a non-display trading facility where over 45% of the market share is utilized on a daily basis. Um, so I'm going to show you with undeniable proof that AMC is in fact traded in the ADF. Um, and to do this, I'm just going to do add in a new attribute real quick. Um, let's see here for message and message to exchange exchange equals message dot exchange. And then I'm going to print symbol exchange and I'm going to specifically change this to only account for AMC. So T dot AMC is what we're going to be looking at. And I'm going to basically just print this symbol out so you can see it for yourself. So we refresh this. And these are going to be real time trades coming in for AMC. So just point that out. Oh, look, the very first one, AMC FINRA alternative display facility. What do you know? No, there's another one. Let's let's see what uh, how much it's for. So, uh, met, uh, price is message dot price. Size is message dot size, and then we're gonna do symbol traded at price for size shares for a cost of, and then we're gonna do dollar cost equals price times size for a cost of dollar cost from the exchange exchange. So let's refresh this now and as you can see for yourself. And it is after hours to so keep in mind it is going to be moving a little bit slower than I would like. However, I mean you can't really argue that the ADF's being used if you're seeing it being used with real-time data. So that sec lawyer was full of crap. I swear they're in business to aid the crime, not prevent it. AMC traded at 508 for 200 shares for a cost of $1,016 from the exchange, FINRA alternative display facility. I mean, it seems to me like it's only trading out of the FINRA alternative display facility. Which, you know, according to the SEC, isn't being used, but yet here it is being used. So how do you explain this? How do you explain this, SEC? I mean, I don't think they can. But yeah, you see it one, two, three, four. Four transactions out of the ADF so far. Now let's say, let's add in GME. Let's add in GME uh, to the list of tickers. TAMC, let's do TGME. Refresh it and see if GME is the same thing. AMC again, FINRA, AMC, FINRA ADF. AMC again, FINRA ADF. And again, I mean, if you go look at what the ADF is and just the, uh, you know, grip it has in the market, go to SIBO market share website, go to the exchanges overview. Oh, they changed this. Hold on. I think you have to do SIBO market share graph. Yeah, right here. So this is the basically the entire market's volume chart based on the exchange that it came out of. So if I go to compare venues, and I select all of the venues, you see uh, NASD ADF is right here at the top. I'm going to do that one last. Check all these boxes, check all these boxes, and these are all the lit exchanges. And the exchanges that I'm, I'm gathering from the script here, when I, whenever I define the exchange, um, that's what that is. So any exchange that comes back 
whether it's ADF or NYSE, it will post um, just like you're seeing here in the terminal. Okay, so anyways, back to the website here. So I've added in everything but the ADF. So I want you to look at this. So on the 18th, which was yesterday, this should update hopefully in, a, in an hour or two for today's data. But if, if you look at this, you'll see that the ADF accounts for, well, how much? We haven't added it yet. The, the biggest volume taker is the NYSC TRF. I'm sorry, the FINRA TRF Carteret, which accounts for 33%. And that's that blue line up here at the top. You see how there's such a big difference? Like this blue line accounts for over 30% of the volume daily. And it's been this way since like basically 2015. Now look what happens when we add in the ADF. Boom, the red one right there. It's using more paired volume than any other venue in the market by a metric shit ton. And the SEC told me that they don't use the ADF. It's not an operation. But yet you see right here with your own eyes that AMC is currently being traded out of the FINRA ADF facility. So which one is it, SEC? Oh, look, there's one from the NYSE ARCA. Oh, see what I mean? There's a real one out of the NYSE ARCA. So I'm going to be monitoring this and looking to see if there's any kind of price discrepancy. Because remember in 2021 when we'd look and we'd see like AMC being traded at like 18 bucks when it was trading at like seven. Guarantee you ADF has something to do with this. But anyways, um, I thought you'd find that interesting that after researching it, looking into it, uh, working with the SEC on, you know, trying to get some answers as to what is going on here. They said it wasn't used. And it wasn't until I got the real time data that I saw for myself that it is in fact being used undeniably. So anyways, how about that? And uh, GME is also because GME traded at 2126 for 86 shares for a cost of 1800 bucks through the FINRA ADF facility. So how about them apples? Sec, you're lying. You're lying. You're liars. You aid in crime. Change my mind. Y'all have a good one. AMC traded at the ADF. Big, big, big time, big time proof here.